Last week on the Jeep Bed platform build, I wanted to make this bed very stable, very structurally sound, because the one I made before really wasn't that. It got the job done, but it just didn't look great. And I wanted this new bed to double as a great storage system. I made a couple mistakes on my measurements, uh, you know, trial and error, but I started over and I finally got what I was looking for. I started on the framework of the bed, got everything drilled in, but we still have a ways to go. Stay tuned, guys. We are back again, getting ready to finish up part of this bed and platform build. Still got a ways to go, but we're gonna get started and jump right into it. Let's do it. So I gotta make a quick Home Depot run. Uh, the bolts that I had to mount the middle bracket uh, are too short. Or I should say I didn't have any long enough. And so I need to get some long enough because it just would not go through the thickness of the wood so this is what it takes to build something you never know what you need but uh headed to home depot and hopefully i can get what i need and head back and get halfway done got what i needed hopefully these work if not it's back to home depot but we're, i'm hoping i'm hoping it works so these new bolts that i got are the uh, t-star the washer head so it's this kind of screw goes in here. For those that have a Jeep, it's the same kind that you use to take off your uh, your roof. So we're gonna see if it fits, because this is gonna go through here into here for a brace. So let's give it a whirl. Now it's all preference of what kind of screw you want. I went with these because they were only 70 cents a piece. So it worked. I don't have to go back to Home Depot. <laughs> so those long screws work. I will put the uh, name of them and the size of them in the description and all that, but part of the process is finished. Now it's time to put on some brackets. So what we're gonna be doing is mounting bracket here and one here so that it can flip up and these are old brackets that I'm using from my uh, G bed the other one that I did so thankfully I don't have to go out and buy buy more these should these should work perfectly that is it for the night and we have liftoff Made the brackets, fits perfectly in there. Nice and snug. Very happy. Clears this perfectly. And yeah guys, very happy with that, how it's coming out so far. We wanted to kind of finish part of it up tonight. So after dinner, I came out and I put the little kickstand brackets so now you can leave it open and when you're laying on it, it'll be used as a headboard. Oh yeah. Back at it again. Uh, gonna be doing some bolting today and uh, we're gonna see how everything goes. You still got a lot more cutting, cutting to do, a lot more measuring to do, but we're gonna go for it. I'm going to be bolting the bed frame to the platform, but I'm not gonna screw it. I'm gonna be using my rivet gun and bolting this to it so that I can easily unscrew it if I do need to move it or change it or take it out or anything like that. So we're gonna make a couple of holes, probably one here and one at the other end and make a few rivets. Let's do it. One thing you wanna make sure you do is if you're cutting something or making a hole, you don't wanna use whatever biggest tool you have you know, if it doesn't fit the first time, you can easily keep building up. But if you make it too big the first time and it doesn't fit, it's not gonna work. So I'm trying to make this fit and I'm almost there. So 
so it worked. We got it in there. It's stable. Now I gotta take it out and do the other side. So guys, I just about got everything done. I didn't record a lot. One, because since daylight savings, <laughs> there's not that much light. So I wanted to uh, rush and finish and do everything I could today. Um, the things I did, I finished the two panels. Still have to make a few little adjustments. Um, got it bolted in there. Got to make a couple more bolts. And I made this little panel right here, this little molding to keep everything uniform and flush so you don't see anything. I will be possibly making this into a square and, and turning it into like a drawer for the stuff underneath. But it's coming together pretty nicely. We're back again, getting ready to continue this project. What is this, day four, I believe? I don't know, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do some more cutting, some more drilling, and we're gonna go for it. Let's go. So what I'm doing right now is I made a mark where the hinge hits for the panel. And I'm just gonna make a little cut here so that it can lay on top and we won't have any issues of this laying actually on the mounted uh, hinge for the back part that flips up. And it fits perfect. So this is what I was trying to avoid that it was hitting like this one. If you can see it, I'm not sure if you can see it. Lands right there on it. So I wanted to make a notch, make a little bit more snug. And there we go. So what I'm doing here is I'm drilling a hole here to mount this on. Um, sturdy, I'm using one of these bolts. It's an Allen wrench bolt. I don't know the actual name to them, but I'm drilling them in there. I'm holding it right now so I have enough space for this to go up so it doesn't hit when I do lift it up. Things are really starting to come together. What I didn't show in the last clip was I cut two panels for the leg extenders which will hang on those two hinges. So now it's time to install them. The bed is going great. It's just about done. We finally have the, I don't know, leg stand. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. But we have that. Now I've got to get the bar to be able to keep it up. And um, that should go on the side between, between there. You guys can see it. it should go. Between there, I'll mount a bar that'll keep this, keep this up like that. And I did the other side as well. And so far we've, everything is fitting snug. Just a few little adjustments here and there. Got to shave off a piece of this corner because it does hit right there. But it's coming together, guys. It's time to start painting everything. Still got to cut a hole there. I'm a little bit nervous about, but we're going to give it a shot. So we are getting closer and closer to being done with this. Uh, I just finished the two panels. Uh, they're, they're propped up by the chairs right now. There's nothing under it. I'm going to be putting a bar to brace it so they can stay up. Um, and I, it's, it's cut like that. I didn't do that on accident. Did that on purpose because I need my seat to come behind this bar because I'm 6'3", so I need all the driving space as much as, as much as possible. So I made this shorter to make up the difference to make the foot rest longer for my side. And then Sharice's uh, side is normal, normal size for her, but I needed mine to be a little bit longer uh, than normal. But it is coming together. So guys, I am in here. I am tentatively sitting on things because not everything is fully secure, but it is pretty comfortable. Now my feet do reach all the way to 
the dashboard, but that's because I'm not putting my legs on on this yet because it's not it's not secure and I don't want to break anything. Uh, but it is quite comfy. I did raise it for more space underneath, but um, it's pretty chill. I'm, I feel like there's a little bit more space. I do get a little bit more space because I am able to extend my legs, but yeah, yeah. Next week, I'll be cutting a hole in this platform and hopefully I don't mess up, but we'll be wrapping this build up 